Have you always lived in Livonia? Yes. Um, tell me how your family ended up in Livonia. Everybody was born and raised around here. That's what I've said. Family's pretty much stayed in the area. Yeah. Right now, I live in a... Um, I was going to ask you about structure, but I live in a um, single-family brick ranch home. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me what kind of home you live in? It's like a double-wide. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, double-wide... Um, Single family detached, I yes. think. The date you moved in, approximately? Maybe 25 years ago, 30, something like that. Okay. You lived here as long as I can remember, and I'm 32. Yeah, it's a great. Minus being robbed a couple of times, it feels like a good location, <laughs> like being near the highway. Not too far from where you live. I say 30 because if it was 25 years ago, I would have been seven, and I don't remember, I remember at seven. Always yeah, because I had another trailer here before this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it switched kind of that had the land. Um, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility? Okay. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Just really never thought about it. Yeah, just not interested, or just. Yeah, you know, just had never been around it or nothing. Mm -hmm. No, nothing about it. Has anybody ever offered it to you? No. No. If you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Uh, that would be a good question. <laughs> <laughs> ain't thought about it. <laughs> like if you could afford it. Okay. So tell me why you would put it on there. I don't know. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. But yeah, I... Like I said, I just don't know that much about it. Yeah. Would you adopt it for reasons for, like, energy, for your, your home, or for environment, or just appeal, or like, just kind of updating with technology? Well, yeah, or? something like that. Updating and then uh, for the home, the energy, too. So, so it'd be for more economical reasons? Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that it's not affordable? Or you said it, if it was affordable. Do you have, do you think it's expensive? I really have no idea what it cost. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about it. I don't it. either. Um, well, you know, it's I, I it's hard when you don't if you haven't been I don't you know I haven't mm -hmm. been around it either, so I don't you're, know. You're how learning. Much. You're learning mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Absolutely. This next part we're gonna draw on maps. If I can find my maps. Okay. manages to draw. All right, with this map of the United States, if you could draw where you think, you can circle, you can X, um, where you think people adopt or invest in the most uh, solar. And it's no right or wrong. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, X or? It, whatever you want, whatever. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions about these communities that you identified. <laughs> now you said what, what, what I do <laughs> <laughs> alright so why do you think people have adopted it in Georgia I, really, I just think you know where they have built that over there yeah. 59 going yep. up the road that's the one we rode right by it did you notice that mm -hmm. I was going to hold I noticed it because somebody else pointed it out to me mm -hmm. so um, because we're recording. I'll just kind of confirm with you a couple things. So, you think it's here in Georgia because there's a solar farm that's been recently put in your community? Is it pretty recent or is it older? Yes. I'd say yes. about four or five years. Within. Yeah. yeah. So, four or five years the solar farm's been put in Livonia? Yeah. Less than five. I know less than five because okay. I, I was working at TI when that. And that was about four years, three, four, not more than five. So do you think that's, um, in Georgia, do you think the people are adopting it um, for business reasons? Or, like, do you see it in residential? I don't know. I think right now it might be business. Okay. And what kind of people are adopting? Like, Shayla. what kind uh -uh. of businesses or what kind of people are asking to put stuff in on rooftops and... I really don't know. It might be just the city part doing, you know. Kind of, um... Upgrading. Yeah, kind of like city-wide. Yeah. Okay, so what about California? 
what makes this community um, different or similar? Like, if they're investing, why are, why do you think that they're investing in or adopting solar in California? Uh, I just know my uncle went, you know, used to drive a truck going back and forth to California and he'd hear a lot of stuff about it. So he used to say he would mm-hmm. see stuff. And what do you imagine, I mean, because I, you know, there's, again, it's your opinion. What kind of people do you think we're adopting out there? It's probably uh, residential people. Okay. Instead of business, or both. Really. Do you think it's all socioeconomics? Like, is it a, you know, a... Um, everybody's adopting or is it um i would think so just kind of a community wide i think it would be everybody okay now what about texas what kind of um what about texas is why people are adopting they're always upgrading so in texas mm-hmm. so kind of ahead of the curve with technology or energy or both both yeah and what kind of people are adopting I think it'd be business and uh, residential. You think all types of people? Mm -hmm. All, you know. Yeah. Okay. And so hard. Mississippi. (laughs) It's hard without the names of the states on here. Mississippi. Uh, What what kind of communities are adopting or investing in solar in Mississippi? I think it'd be all there, too. All. You think it's both residential and... And business. And business. All types of people? Yeah. Okay. And the last state you have identified is Florida. What type of communities are investing? I think it would be all there, too. Okay. Because that's where you go on vacations and all, and they're always keeping up. So you think to keep up with the demand of Mm -hmm. um, tourists that they would adopt? Yeah. For both? Yeah. Now, because they have a lot, you think it's on homes, more homes there because of? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Like with nice. rental homes or something, or condos. Yeah, or to draw the, the people. Okay. I'm going to ask you to do the same. If I can find it on here. Georgia. And you can mark or circle however you like. So what communities do you think are adopting or investing in solar? Probably those. One way to get it. <laughs> okay, so what about... Um, All right, what makes the community around Atlanta different from the community here in Livonia? It's bigger, more people. So what kind of people are adopting there? I would think all business and residential. All sorts of incomes Mm and, okay. Uh, What about Macon? What makes that area? Same thing, it's bigger. So you think people more in the cities are likely to adopt solar? Yeah. Do you think that's because of just the amount of people or the accessibility or space or other reasons? Probably all of them. Okay. Um, uh, kind of the same question. What kind of people are adopting is in Macon? Yeah, residential and business. Okay. Do you know anybody... Um, here in Livonia who has adopted solar no. have you um, ever seen it in the community besides the solar farm on anybody's home or anything like that no. No. or hear about that people are selling it or using it I hardly ever see anybody in town I work in Clarksville and I go work how far is that from here about 45 minutes okay yeah and you don't see any when you pass? Hardly ever. Okay. Um, I talked to a gentleman, and he said he used to see it more years ago than now. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see it at, like, if you've lived in this community a long time, have you ever seen it and seen it leave, like, on somebody's home? Not really. It is. The hours I work, I, I go to work at 4.30, I leave at 4.30 in the morning. And come home at two. So There's the room. Don't hardly ever see anybody that to talk to. Yeah, yeah, miss a lot of the business. So, what and about? I've, I've been doing that for thirty years. So. Kind of consistent. Nobody's knocking at your door mm-hmm. selling you something. Um, and as far as you know, your utility company has never provided any kind of offering. No. Not that I know of. Okay, and um, 
out of curiosity, the solar panels like on the roof, how do you think would how they look affect if you would adopt them? Just out of curiosity, uh, do the way they look would that stop you from putting them on your home? No. The main reason would be affordability to you to yes. kind of yes. recap, and they would need to be affordable to help you save with your energy mm-hmm. bills. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is all the interview. So, do you have anything else about solar or any no. thoughts about energy or living in the area or? No, if I see it or read about it or something like that, but. Just don't hear a lot about it at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs>